Hello, my name is Clyde Dunn and I'm the course director for the Level 3 Graphic Design program at the College of West Anglia. The reason for this video is to tell you a little about the course, its facilities and to help make sure you're making the right choice. So, who is the right person for the course? Well, you need to be creative, passionate, self-motivated and want to communicate visually with others. It's a demanding course that is rewarding if you enjoy creative work. It's also challenging, but the reward of a fulfilling career awaits those that work hard and stretch themselves. So a bit about the course. In term one of the first year, you'll be taught the basics, something about design elements, the design cycle, as well as about the facilities and equipment. You'll also be taught about contextual aspects of studying design. We'll also teach you how to work in a professional studio environment, including using the hardware, the Macs, and the software, the Adobe Creative Suite. You'll learn how to research effectively, develop your project, explore your ideas, plan and execute work, as well as evaluate things so you can improve. The course is not just about learning how to use Macs and creative software. It's about how you explore ideas and how to communicate them visually to an audience. It's about developing knowledge and skills that allow you to evolve your own style. It's about taking you on a personal journey as a creative individual. In term two, you'll have an opportunity to expand your emerging capabilities as a designer with themes and projects that are more open the projects do have focus, but encourage a broader interpretation under the guidance of teaching staff. This time in the course is about developing strengths and exploiting learning from Term 1. It provides an opportunity to clarify strengths and areas for development in your practice. In Term 3, your main focus will be on the externally set exam project set by the awarding body UAL. There are different stages to this project. In stage one, you'll research, plan and explore your ideas for your project. In stage two, you'll be experimenting and developing work linked to these ideas. This will inform a deepening of investigation and testing of your design approach. Stage three is a 10 hour exam, bringing together all your work for the project and sending it off to UAL for marking. In the first part of year two, you'll have an opportunity to tackle larger, more open projects. You'll also start to investigate your progression opportunities to go to uni, seek employment, or perhaps work for yourself as a freelancer. There will also be more opportunity to explore themes linked to your own design influences, interests, and style. This will contribute to you developing a professional level portfolio to support your future progression and career path. In term three, you'll undertake a large self-identified project that will be marked internally. There'll be broad thematic starting points that give you lots of scope for interpretation. This work concludes in an end of year show where you get to showcase and celebrate your hard work with lots of exposure to an audience too. Here are some frequently asked questions. Do you need your own digital equipment? No, you don't. We have studios equipped with Macs and creative software. However, if you can afford it, it is advisable to have your own. This gives you more control in managing how you work. Think about holidays and weekends, for instance, when the college is closed. I'd advise a mid-range MacBook Pro and an Adobe, an Adobe, Adobe Creative Suite bundle, including Photoshop, InDesign and Illustrator. I like to compare uh, competent use of these three pieces of software by any rounded graphic designer as being a bit like a three-legged stool, where each 